a truck story company based in Bangkok, India. These are my colleagues, Anirutha Reshmi Narasimhan, who heads the Public Sciences Department, and Narasimha Rao, who heads the Kishwagrafi Department. This work described in this protein science article was carried out as part of a collaboration with the University of Malaya to develop antibacterial compounds to treat meliodosis. This is an infectious disease caused by the gram-active organism Orthodaria pseudomalai that affects both humans and animals. This infection is recognized as an important health problem in Southeast Asian countries and tropical northern Australia. Clinical manifestations of meliodosis include pneumonia with or without septicemia or localized infections involving the skin and the soft tissue organs. Current treatment options include ceftazidine or carbapenem as IV dosing for two weeks during the initial intensive phase of therapy followed by 12 weeks of oral therapy. Apart from the long duration, another issue with this treatment is the reported drug resistance which is the hallmark of bacterial infections. So, there is an urgent need for developing new drugs that function through a novel mechanism of action which is a challenging task. Fatty acid biosynthesis pathway is a relatively unexplored area for antibacterial drug development. This pathway is unique in bacteria as compared to that in humans. In bacteria, individual enzymes catalyze each stage of fatty acid biosynthesis, whereas a single multi-enzyme complex mediates fatty acid synthesis in humans. Therefore, it is possible to selectively inhibit fatty acid biosynthesis in bacteria without affecting that in humans. There are several enzymes in this pathway. Enoid ACP reductase, also known as FABI, that catalyzes the final step in each cycle of bacterial fatty acid synthesis, utilizing NADH or NADPH as a buffer drug, is known to be a critical enzyme for the survival of bacteria. Therefore, we initiated a project to develop inhibitors of FABI for drug development against Burkhardia pseudomoli infection. So several compounds inhibiting FABI from different organisms have been identified, among which uh, AFN1252 is one of the most advanced inhibitors in phase 2 clinical development, which is selective for gram-positive bacteria. In uh, an effort to identify inhibitors of Burkholderia FABI, we screened several compounds using a biochemical assay which was established with an in-house purified protein. To our surprise, we found uh, AFN1252 to be a very potent inhibitor of BPM FABI with an IC50 of around 9 nanomolar and also this inhibitor showed antibacterial activity against Burkholderia pseudomalai R15 strain which was isolated from patients with melodiosis. Uh, in order to understand the binding mode and the mechanism of action of binding, we uh, conducted thermal melting uh, temperature studies, uh, kinetic studies and also histographic studies. To begin with, uh, with uh, thermal melting studies, we found that uh, the AFN1252 compound stabilizes Burkholderia of protein in the absence of cofactors NADH or NADPH. This binary mechanism of binding is different in contrast to the ternary mechanism reported elsewhere for FABI inhibitors in the presence of cofactor and the protein. Data from kinetic studies carried out by varying the substrate protonyl CoA and cofactor NADH at different concentrations of AFN1252 suggested a mixed mode of inhibition were able to obtain diffraction quality crystals. However, when we saw the structure, we observed that the density corresponding to NADH was not seen. To further explore the mechanism of binding, we saw the crystal structure of BPM FABI AFN1252 complex at a resolution of 2.3 angstrom. And the data presented here gave clear evidence that a binary complex formation between AFN1252 and BPM FABI protein is possible. This is in contrast with all the earlier reported crystal structures of AFN1252, they with equali, chlamydia or staphylococcus, wherein 
the inhibitor binds to the enzyme in presence of the cofactor NADH. TBM by AFN1252 complex for a symmetrical tetrameric structure with one molecule of AFN1252 bound to each monomer of the BPM Fabi. Hydrogen bonding, hydrophobic contacts and water mediated interactions stabilize the binary complex formation. Thus, the data presented in this article clearly indicates a novel mechanism of action for AFN1252 binding to BPM Fabi. The structural and mechanistic insights from these studies might help in rational design and development of new Fabi inhibitors to treat malaria disease. Thank you. These are the other contributors of this article.